In this video, we want to consider lift. Now you want to get some writing materials to jot down some things. Lift is uh, any vertical motion under the influence of gravity. If, for example, we have a lift this way, the weight is what brings it down. Reaction R or tension T is what takes it up. So this is pulling it up, this is bringing it down, and W is giving us mg. Now, if we consider this, there are some conditions that makes a uh, lift to be possible, and there are some things we need to consider. The condition of the lift system, the first one is that when lift is going up, the tension will have to be greater than the weight so that it will go up. So T minus W gives us it produces the force, which is Ma. The second condition is that when lift is going down, it means the weight will have to be greater than the tension. Then that produces the force, that's Ma. Also, we can consider, we can call this just reaction other than just saying tension. So since it's coming down, reaction, because they are the same. Now, the third one is that when lift is stationary, or let's say it moves with a constant velocity, that is, acceleration is, is zero. Then what it means is that the reaction is equal to the weight, so it is stationary at a place. For example, this question says, a man of mass 50 kg stands in a lift. What is the reaction from the floor of the lift if the lift A moves upward? with a steady speed, B moves upwards with an acceleration of 0 0.6 meters per second square, C moves downward with an acceleration of 0 0.4. Now let's start with the first one. The first one, we are told that mass M is 50 kg, and we are told that it's moving upwards with a steady speed. Remember that one of the conditions is that whenever the lift is moving with steady speed, acceleration is zero. And when acceleration is zero, it means that arrow is equal to... So since mass is 50 kg, remember that for us to get W, W is giving us mg. So what it means is that m is 50 times our acceleration due to gravity is 10 so this gives us 500 so it means that our reaction r is 500 kg the second one it says if it moves upward with an acceleration of 0 0.6 meters per second square now for it to move upwards remember acceleration now is 0 0.6 that we're going to use now if it moves upward it means that the reaction will be greater than the weight and that will produce Ma. So if we say R minus the our W, remember, we got it to be 500. So 500 is equal to M. Our M is 50. Now our A is 0 0.6. 0 0.6. So if we multiply R minus 500 is equal to this times this will give us 30. So that we make R subject of the formula this will cross over and becomes positive. So 30 plus 500, which gives us 530. Newton is a force, Newton. The C says, if it moves downward with an acceleration of 0 0.4, so here now we are working with acceleration 0 0.4 meters per second squared. Now it's moving downwards, and for it to move downwards, the weight will be greater than the reaction, and that will produce the force. Okay, so now we're working with A as this. So the weight, remember, is con it continues to be 500 minus R. We're looking for R. Mass is still 50 times the acceleration now, 0 0.4. So 500 minus R is what gives us 50 times uh, 0 0.4 will be about uh, 20 years. So so from there, if we move 500 to this place, it becomes minus. So minus R is equal to 20 minus 500. So minus R will be minus 480. So minus will cancel minus. R is 480 Newton. 
let's look at the second question. This question says an elevator and its load have a total mass of 800 kg. Find the tension T in the supporting cable when the elevator originally moving downwards as 10 meters per second is brought to rest with constant deceleration in a distance of 25 meters. Now, first of all, let's note that for this to be going down, it means that W minus the tension, the weight minus the tension, it will be greater than the tension, right? So uh, weight minus tension gives us the force, that's MA. Now, they give us the mass to be 800 kg, but they did not give us acceleration. But inside of the question, we were given details that told us that it was moving initially, that's originally, with 10 meters per second. So U is 10 meters per second. Now, it was brought to rest, which means that V, final velocity, is zero. When then the distance was 25 meters. Now, we have a, an equation that says that V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS in equation of motion. If we plug in these values so that we can find acceleration, we will have that 0 squared is equal to 10 squared plus 2 times A times 25. What it means is that 0, because 0 squared is 0, is equal to 10 squared is 100 times 2 times 25 is 50, then A, 50A, sorry, plus, plus 50A. So if we push this 100 to this side, it becomes negative 100 is equal to 50A. Then A, then A becomes, negative 100 is 50A. Then A becomes 100 divided by 50, which gives us minus 2 meters per second squared as the acceleration now that we've gotten the acceleration we can now plug it in into the original equation that says w minus this our w is equal to mg remember so for us to get w we say that w is equal to our m that's the mass 800 times our g is 10 so this will give us about 8000 so this is our W, so we write it 8,000 for this equation. 8,000 minus T is equal to M, which is the mass, is 800 times acceleration, which is minus 2. So we have that 800 minus T is equal to, if you multiply this, you have 1,600. Because of the minus, it becomes minus. 1600 so if we take this to this other side minus t is equal to minus 1600 this becomes minus minus 800 if you add two of them you get that minus t is equal to minus 900 9600 yes sorry this 8000 8000 sorry 8,000, so 9,600. So let's write it here. Minus 9,600. So can, uh, minus cancels out minus. So our T tension is 9,600 Newton. That's the answer. So please like the video. Click the subscribe button. Thank you.